Madam Chair, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, the Baha'i International Community appreciates the opportunity to share a few considerations on an area it sees as critical to the ongoing success of social development in the contemporary world, namely the adoption of learning as a primary mode of operation. Learning is of course well regarded in UN circles, but conceiving of development as learning, approaching it as a process of generating and applying knowledge about the dynamics of social change in specific settings reframes many familiar aspects of traditional development practice. Within such a context, the goal of an educational initiative is not to only build a classroom or increase primary school enrollment. Rather, it is to learn about how a community comes to take ownership for the education of its young people. The goal of a health initiative is not merely to distribute vaccines or reduce the incidence of a chronic disease. It is to learn how patterns of behavior conducive to health and well-being take root within a population. Understood in this way, development efforts not only serve as a means to pursue strategic outcomes, but also help communities learn to assess their own needs and mobilize their own resources. Elements of process also assume critical importance. Within a mode of learning, plans grow organically over time and exist to be modified in light of ongoing developments. Visions and strategies are re-examined repeatedly and modifications are made as tasks are accomplished, obstacles removed, resources multiplied and lessons learned. But learning at the local level, no matter how essential, will remain limited if unconnected to global processes concerned with the prosperity of humanity as a whole. In this sense, UN bodies such as the Commission for Social Development could well conceive of themselves as learning entities dedicated to the systematization of a growing worldwide experience made possible by the participation of increasing numbers of collaborators. Such, a, such an approach defies categorization as either top-down or bottom-up. Rather, it is one of reciprocity and interconnectedness. It is in this light that we see great potential for the Commission to serve as an important platform for sharing of learning and accumulated experience from a wide range of development actors as possible. Thank you.